Have you ever wondered how far someone might go to win a game show? Seriously, how far would you go? Sell your soul? Bet your mother-in-law? Well, buckle up, because we have a story for you. Meet Charles William Ingram, a former British Army major who in 2001 found himself in the hot seat of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? A seemingly ordinary man leading an ordinary life until just a regular Joe, right? Well, not quite. Ingram's story takes a rather cough, peculiar turn. So, here we have Major Ingram, sitting in the hot seat ready to answer questions that could make him a millionaire. But wait, is that a cough I hear? Now this wasn't your run-of-the-mill cough. No, this was a cough that seemed to have a mind of its own, a cough with a purpose. You see, Major Ingram, his wife Diana, and their accomplice Tequin Wittick, had cooked up an audacious plan. Each time host Chris Tarrant asked a question, Wittick would cough to signal the correct answer, it was a scheme as bold as it was bizarre, one that seemed straight out of a comedy sketch, and it worked. The coughing choir led Ingram straight to the million-pound jackpot. The major had become a millionaire, not with his knowledge but with a symphony of well-timed coughs. And just like that, Ingram went from major to millionaire all thanks to a case of well-timed coughs. Quite the cold, wouldn't you say? But as they say, what goes up must come down, and for Ingram, it came crashing down, like a pile of cough drops. The aftermath saw Ingram in court, his reputation in tatters, a fall from grace that was almost comedic in its irony. The coughing major had become a punchline, an unexpected consequence of his cough scheme. So, there you have it folks. The story of the coughing major, a man who coughed his way to infamy. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, or even if you just had a good laugh, do us a favor and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you never miss out on more stories from the High Society Stories. Until next time, remember, honesty is the best policy, especially on game shows.